Hello and welcome back to another review I wanted to do for so long because I have a set for so many years. Okay, not so many years, but I'm um, using the Winston Newton Coke Mine series for quite a while for the last since I started to paint with watercolors, which were actually the first watercolors I painted with were the Winston Newton ones. Uh, it's the Coke Mine series, uh, which means that it's student grade, um, but still. I really love the colors and I'm still using them because I just really love the set and the color choices you have and the pigmentation and it's actually enough for me so you can buy the Kumon series which is a little bit cheaper because of course it's student grade watercolors but you can also uh, buy the professional series which maybe I will show in another video but I don't have a lot of uh, colors from the professional series. I still keep on buying the Chrome One series. So um, this is the 45 uh, half pan set. It's not the full set because I'm using this for three years now. Um, so you can see here are um, 39 colors. Uh, that's because I'm missing one color. And because in the 45 half pan set you get five colors uh, double, do you say it like that? In the Coma series there are 40 different colors, so uh, in the in the half pan set you get like five colors, uh, I think it's uh, yellow ochre, you get uh, two of that. Oh, there are only 30, uh, 38, not 39, because I don't have a white, a Chinese white color in here, it's still in my old set, but yeah. A lot of people ask me about the set and I just wanted to show you the set and I will show you the colors in um, a color chart that I made. So yeah, um, I really love the set. There are There is like one thing that bugs me though and I will come to that later. So The very first Copman set was actually not the 45 half one set, it was the 24 set and it looked like this. Right now it has, well, it's very dirty here, but it has like all the colors that I have, um, all the second colors that I have and that I'm not really using a lot or that I have double because I bought the 45 set, a half one set. So uh, these are almost empty. I think this is purple lake, purple lake and yeah. So this is what I used to mix and used to um, have. Actually the 45, um, the bigger half pan set also has this side but I took it off because it was just too big to have on my table which is not that huge so I put that side off so, I, um, so the colors were uh, closer to me when I paint. <laughs> um, yeah so I recommend both sets actually, uh, this set is a little bit cheaper because it doesn't have a lot of, uh, yeah, not 45 colors but I think 24 colors are in it and that's actually a huge collection you can actually have. So yeah, um, that's the smaller set and that's the bigger set. I think they also have a set that is even smaller I don't know maybe 12 colors or something you have to look it up I don't really know if that's something but I will show you this set for this video so this is the chart that I kind of uh, created I was looking on the internet if there is actually a chart with blank spaces so I could print it on a watercolor paper but I didn't find any so I took the color chart that already has the colors in it but I make like these blank spaces and it's sized for A4 paper so I will put that sheet um, in the info box so you can download it and, or save it on your computer and print it on um, your printer at home. Uh, I recommend a watercolor paper because it works better with the colors because it's watercolors, so yeah, quite obvious. Um, so yeah. The third color, the um, Gamboge, who I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't really read it right now. Uh, I'm missing the color and I don't know where I got it. Um, 
why I'm missing that. I probably use it a lot. So yeah, I'm sorry that I can't show you that, but you actually get it in the 45 uh, half pound set. So uh, it's missing sadly. And these are all the colors that I have. Um, I will paint every color in the chart except for the color I'm missing and except for Chinese white because I think you don't really need it. What's good about the color chart is that you can see um, like the little symbols on the bottom uh, which I also copied from the original color chart you can uh, google online and you can see online that it has this um, symbols that tell you if a um, color is permanent or if it's semi-transparent and stuff like this. It's at the bottom I showed you in the beginning of uh, this clip that uh, there is like a little bit of information about what the symbols mean. So uh, you have a name of a color and yeah, the number of a color and all the symbols that what they all mean. The last thing I wanted to show you is the difference between the indigo from the Koopman set and the indigo color from the professional watercolor set from Winter Newton. Um, and I wanted to show you this because I'm using the indigo color a lot. Not the one from the Koopman series, but the one from the professional series and I wanted to show you why. So this is the indigo from the Koopman set and it's a totally different color uh, than the one when the indigo from the professional. This is Prussian blue from the Kogman set and the indigo color from the professional set kind of looks like it's fading into this uh, Prussian blue so it gets when it's intense like you can see it gets really dark it's perfect for night skies and because it fades into this uh, Prussian blue color it's uh, perfect for night skies, it's perfect for galaxy paintings and mixing it with cold colors and stuff like that. So I'm actually missing this color in the Copeman set because even mixing Prussian blue with the indigo color from the Copeman set, it just doesn't get this, this color. Yeah, so this is actually just a personal thing. Uh, because I chose to buy more of the Copeman set because except for three colors um, the whole Copeman set is actually animal free so the colors that are not animal free I will show you them on the screen right now all the other colors uh, are animal free and the professional series is not animal free this is just a personal thing um, I would rather buy the indigo that was animal free and I just wish they would make another Copeman color, I don't know, name it Midnight or something like this, w would look like the indigo from a professional series because I think it's uh, perfect and I use it a lot and yeah, it's perfect for what I paint and it's actually uh, my favorite color in the set so yeah that's actually all I hope this was helpful I hope um, you got some information if you were thinking about buying the Copeman set and if you wanted to uh, see the colors that I have I'm sorry that I'm missing one color and that I couldn't show you um, that one yellow color that is missing um, I have a sheet that I created in in the info box you can download it you can print it yourself and use it if you want um, yeah so that's it and I hope you have a great day bye